What's up guys, Nate Famous Racing Customs. I'm doing an update on the uh, um, the 56 Delray body. Um, I got it painted. I actually got pretty far on it. Um, I'm going to do uh, show you what the body looks like and then I'm going to pause it since now I figured out that I can pause my phone and then go back into the recording and not have to waste so much time. Um, so anyways, um, like I said, uh, in the last video for my poll, um, I got my future today and I actually used it and I don't know who came up with the idea of using that or, or what, but it's, uh, that stuff is amazing. Um, I do have to buff it, and I didn't wet sand the last coat of paint. I just put the future over it without uh, wet sanding it. So it, <laughs> uh, unfortunately, it works so well. It will show you the little flaws in the paint. So, um, but you know what? It this is probably the perfect model to do it with, for the simple fact that um, this one definitely is not a shower. This is just you know, one, if I do decide to show a vehicle, um, I, hopefully by then we'll have, uh, my paint technique down, um, with all my wet sanding and everything like that, but, I mean, this is just awesome, so, um, there's my future, um, that stuff, I, I don't know if there's really a difference, and, you know, if anybody does know, leave a comment, but I got the tile and vinyl floor, there's a wood floor one, um, I really don't know if there's, if it's that big of a deal, um, <clears throat> you know, I just bought that one, uh, so, uh, yeah, let's get into the body, and there it is, now, again, it's not buffed. I have handled the body, so it's probably got some uh, fingerprint smudges that need to be wiped off. Um, but she is shiny. This is, I mean, almost as good. Well, probably actually better. Hold on. Let me, let's do a side-by-side -side comparison. <laughs> Uh, so there's my my 65 Chevy and as you can see this doesn't have future this has uh, that testers clear coat on it and I mean that's got a wet look I mean in the shine is I mean they're almost really just identical you know um, I'm going to put some future on this body here, um, and buff it out and try to bring more of a, bring more shine out of it, um, but yeah, I mean, this is that tester's, uh, wet look clear, um, I tend to put that clear on, uh, pretty heavy, so, I mean, heavy enough where it looks smooth and it'll it'll self level itself before it dries but not so heavy that it runs um, it's not an easy task to do I love those rims those rims really set off that truck um, along with the stance oh look there's the nomad again sorry I'm going kinda of crazy here so yeah that's that's where I'm at with that um, I'm going to go ahead and hit pause and show you about where I'm at with, uh, everything else on the model. And I'll be right back. And welcome back, guys. Um, so, there we go, the chassis. Oh, it looks like I missed a spot painting. Uh, eh, which would be the gas tank. Oh, uh, that's an easy fix. I can get that gas tank painted, no problem. Um... But the exhaust system's in. Uh, front and rear suspension's in. Um, I just got to put the uh, the shocks for the rear end. You know, um, still didn't plumb it. Uh, looks like I got some touch-up work to do there. Um, the flat black is acrylic. Flat black. Um, 
watered down. Just basically what I do is um, I, I, I take my brush and I quickly just, just the very tip of it, just dip it in the water real quick and then um, uh, I'll, I'll, the same, about the same amount um, I will dip into the paint and I'll let, literally let the brush just draw the paint in with the water. And um, I usually have to do two or three coats um, to get it smooth like that. So that's two or basically two or three coats of this flat black. Um, there's the front end. I did the uh, control arms. Silver gloss black here just to add a little bit of different contrast with the blacks. Um, lots of silver. Um, doing the gas tank gold. Um, I will have black straps, and then I'll try to detail the uh, the the other pieces for for that um, as I go along. So it's coming along pretty good now. The engine, um, the engine, I brushed uh, the future just on the red. You know, um, I want to do a couple little custom things to it. I am gonna wire it. Um, focus, 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 there we go, this LED light is ridiculous on this phone, so, um, I'll probably add in a dab of silver for the pulleys, um, you know, so, but yeah, that's it, um, So yeah, that, that's basically it. And there's um, my other models. Um, the 67 Chevelle. You know, being restored as it were to look. Um, the 68 Dodge Dart with uh, my Radical Rake. You know, very hot rodish. Very, if you were to do it at home, not being a professional. You know, and you wanted the slicks on the back, I guess. Um, tattoo inks. And if you notice, that pink is the same color as the pink on the Nomad. Um, and that is a uh, Chrysler color. This is the Panther pink. So, um, yeah, I'll probably do, um, I'm planning on doing more videos, um, showing off more one at a time and getting more explanations in, um, it does take a long time for me to upload videos on my phone, but it takes a long, even longer on my computer, um, so, and then, uh, up, uh, after the hot rod, uh, gets done, I've already decided I'm going to work on the General Lee. Um, not too sure what I'm going to do with it. There's my other tow truck. I've got to finish up a couple things on that. So, the girlfriend and the baby. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, thanks for all the comments. Thanks for uh, ahead of time for watching the video. Um, thanks to all my subscribers. You know, uh, Honestly, I probably would have never made a video um, ever in my life if I hadn't started watching the videos on YouTube. So, you know, not just the main guys that I normally, you know, Dr. Craig and Keith, Ask Jimmy 71, Big Boonski, um, Dave Parker, you know, I, I know I mentioned them a lot, um, but really, I mean, it's just everybody out there. Everybody has their own flavor, their own style, their own whatever it is, you know. I build my cars the way I would build them in real life. Some people, other people do the same thing, but, you know, they add their own little twists, their own little flavor. Um, Dave Parker, man, you're, you're colorblind? You could have fooled the hell out of me, dude. You got some amazing, amazing builds going on there. So, uh, but yeah, all you guys out there, keep up the great work. Keep building, man. I, I, I get inspiration from you guys, I get ideas off you guys, um, you know, uh, I would have never tried to tackle this truck without watching YouTube, because um, 
doing the C notch, even though for me it's a very simple C notch, um, I would have never thought, it, I would have never even tried, tried to do it, uh, even tried to scratch build my own frame for it. So, um, thanks uh, to everybody out there in YouTube. You know, um, you guys are awesome out there building your models and showing your flavor from all over the world. Um, so, keep up the great work, and uh, this is Nate from Famous Racing Customs, signing off.